Hi, I'm Lucy from Sew so Essential and today I've got a roundup of the latest Vogue patterns. So everything I talk about, the patterns, the gorgeous fabrics, they're all on our website so do check out the links below and you'll also find a link for our weekly newsletter for a healthy dose of sewing inspiration straight to your inbox. So this Vogue release is very exciting. There are so many gorgeous designs in it um, and we've got some more sort of like everyday sort of day to day normal life sort of wear. But then we've also got what you would expect from Vogue, those gorgeous couture looking gowns that would be absolute knockout dresses for wedding season, which is just around the corner. So lots and lots to get excited about. Now, the first one I'm going to show you, I have already reviewed on the channel. It's Vogue 2000. It's a Diane von Furstenberg, von Furstenberg, apologies, re-release of an authentic 1970s vintage wrap dress pattern. So I've already made this, I made it ready for the release. I'm going to pop a link below with all the links where you'll find the patterns and fabrics. You'll also find a link to my review of this dress as well. Um, and it is just absolutely gorgeous. I thought I'd share it again because it has been so super popular. Um, it is a classic wrap dress pattern pattern lots to love about it the thing I really loved about it is that the crossover is nice and high um, it doesn't gape it's not too low cut which is a common problem with wrap dress patterns it fits beautifully across the bust and yeah there is no sort of um, it's not too low cut it doesn't gape which is a real plus point then add to that the quirky 1970s authentic features such as the oversized pointed collar, the angular oversized cuffs, and then the fact that the belt is a statement belt, it's not an afterthought, and it's got angular points on the belt as well that tie in with the cuffs and the collar. I just loved all of those features. I love the fact it had shoulder darts for a really good fit around the shoulder area as well. That's an area where I often struggle with fit or I have to make adjustments. And that always just gives me a bit of a better fit because I've got protruding shoulder blades. So if you've got that, a shoulder dart can make a real difference there. Um, it, you can make it in a maxi length or a midi length. I made the midi length. It's got quite a full skirt. Um, and you can also omit the collar if that's not your cup of tea as well. So loads to love about this dress. It is a timeless classic. It can be sewn, sewn up in knits and wovens. Um, and it runs up to a size 24, which is a 46 bust, 39 waist and 48 hip. I sewed it up in a knit jersey fabric, but it says it can be sewn in knits or jerseys. If you do sew it in a knit, the knit I used was a very stable knit, so I didn't have to size down. I just cut the normal size out that I would, which was a 12 at the bust and graded to a 14 at the waist and hips. But if you are using a, a more stretchy jersey, you might want to size down. Um, I've got two fabric options for this one for you. I thought a jersey option, we've just restocked this super popular monochrome design. Um, I think it's a viscose jersey and people are absolutely loving it. Um, again, you might want to size down in that um, for this dress because it is got, it is quite stretchy. It's a lighter weight, uh, more stretchy knit than the one that I used. But then I also thought I'd give you a woven option as well. Um, so we've got this gorgeous polka dot fabric, just a classic black and white monochrome polka dot fabric. And I thought the wrap dress would look beautiful sewn up in that as well. So next designer, dead stock. It's got loads of drape and movement. You'll find all of these on the website with full details, but polka dots are a big key trend for spring 2024, hence the blouse I'm wearing. Um, so yeah, I just had to give that DVF dress another mention because I loved sewing it. I loved wearing it. Um, and yeah, it was part of this release. So yeah, you'll find the full review. I'll link it below for you. Then onto the other patterns that I haven't reviewed yet. Vogue 2004. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful, beautiful dress. Really reminded me of one of the key trends that I shared in my Sewing the Spring Trends video. Um, last month I think it was, um, I saw a lot of dresses with a fitted waist, tiered skirts, frills, sort of pretty feminine details but a much more fitted silhouette this season than we've seen in previous years and the Vogue 2004 absolutely ticked the box 100% and I am desperate to make this pattern. Um, you've got the maxi slash midi length version or you've got the knee length version, it was the knee length version that I think I featured more 
in the trends video. Um, but yeah, it's got um, a raglan sleeve, which is a puff, uh, well, it's a bishop sleeve, really. It's sort of more fitted at the top and then bellows out into a cuff um, at the bottom. And then there's a neck band and um, gathers under the neck band. And then um, the, it's sort of like a neck band. The neck band continues either side um, at the front and goes into a waistband. And all of that is designed to be um, finished with like a lace trim, which I really like and think it looks gorgeous. Um, it buttons together at the front. And then there is a gathered skirt, which has got a tear. Um, you can either go for the maxi length, which has got um, a long sort of skirt and then a ruffle hem, or you can go for the shorter skirt version, which is like two tiered skirt, basically. Um, it's got waist starts for a good shape at the front and back. I just think this is the cutest dress I've ever seen and I really am desperate to make it. I love the little stand up collar as well. It's just gorgeous. Um, it runs up to a size 26 as well, which is the same as the DVF one. Oh no, that was a 24. So a 26 is a 48 bust 41 waist and 50 hip and it can be sewn in a range of fabrics chiffons crepe de chines georgettes lightweight linens that sort of thing i thought that the short version would look really pretty sewn up in this gorgeous multicolored paisley print fabric which i adore i think i'm about to make a top in this but i thought that short dress would look great in it as well and when i did that spring trends video lots of those dresses that style that i saw were sewn up in beautiful um, pastely pretty colours like that so that's what gave me the inspiration there. The next pattern I want to share is equally as gorgeous very much along the same sort of theme um, and it's Vogue 2005 I desperately want to make this one as well I really have to make these two dresses this year I adore them. Um, so this one has got a yoke which has um, got a ruffle underneath it um, and then the ruffle continues over the shoulder seam and then there's also a ruffle stand-up sort of uh, neck band that finishes the neckline at the top. Um, it's got then a fitted bodice with what looks like it might be a princess seam um, and it's got short puff sleeves um, that are gathered into a, a sort of narrow cuff, a button down front, fitted waist, and then the skirt's a flared skirt. Um, it's got fish darts at the back, and it's also got uh, waist darts at the front by the looks of it. And then you've also got the option to make the same bodice again, but instead of making it with the knee, just below knee length skirt, you can make a maxi or midi length skirt as well. Looks like there might be box pleats on the front of the skirt, actually. I think it's, but yeah, it is box pleats rather than, I think it's a waist dart that turns into a box pleat. And then yeah, fish darts on the back. But super, super pretty. Runs up to a size 24, which I've already given you the measurements for. Um, and can be sewn up again in a range of woven fabrics, crepe de chines, uh, crepe georgettes, rayon chalets, that sort of thing. So, so pretty, so many options for that one. Again, you could use either of those woven fabrics that I've just shown you, but I also really like the styling on the packet of the white dress with the floral design. And we've got this gorgeous X designer dead stock fabric here, which some people might want to line. It's like a cream colorway with a red floral design on it. When I've held it up to the light and tried to look through it, it does seem fairly opaque. I think you probably would get away without lining it. Um, but yeah, if you wanted to line it, you could use some of our um, Libra lining, which is um, like a sort of beigey color and works well under these light colors. Um, but yeah, I thought that would look really pretty sewn up as the knee length version of that dress. The next person I want to share is Vogue 2007. 
this is a real knockout combo so initially I thought it was a dress but actually it's a wow factor either maxi or midi length skirt and then a shirt to pair with the skirt and I love this look I love this like style um, it's something that I think shirts have been so popular for the last few years and I don't think we always think of pairing them with like a really glamorous maxi skirt but I think it works really really well um, the shirt has got all your sort of classic shirt features um, it's got bust darts it's got patch pocket optional patch pockets it's got an optional yoke on the back with gathers underneath it um, it's got the cutters shirt collar um, a neckband and you've got the option for the shorter sleeve with like a turned up cuff um, or you've got the option for a full length sleeve with a standard cuff and then the skirt is fitted at the waist it's got box pleats um, it's full of drama it looks like it's finished with an invisible zip at the side um, and yeah just what an absolutely gorgeous combo and a really nice different outfit to wear um, to on a night out than you know your traditional sort of uh, evening wear tops it, I think it can look quite nice wearing a shirt pairing it with something glamorous on the bottom um, it can be sewn up in a wide range of fabrics so the shirt's designed to be sewn up in like poplins, sateens, shantungs, that sort of thing. Um, and then you can go for a range of woven fabrics for the skirt. And I thought the skirt would look incredible sewn up in this gorgeous viscose satin fabric that we've got with this bold floral design on it and then paired with a white shirt like the styling on the packet I just think that would make such a knockout outfit it really would and I just love this fabric I think it's beautiful so that's my idea for that one the next pattern I want to share is Vogue 2008. So this is definitely knockout prom dress, wedding guest dress, even bridesmaid dress, to be honest. It's so stunning and beautiful. Um, it's a halter neck design with a really sort of wide, or like turtleneck neck band. It's gathered under the neck band. And then at the front, has it got busted? There's no darts, um, but it's got a chevron um, waistline that joins the bias cut I'm sure it'll be a bias cut skirt that sort of just hangs beautifully um, and then that high sort of turtleneck neck band is tied at the back and it's got a really long tie that hangs all the way down the back of the dress um, there's a little keyhole at the back as well and then that chevron design carries on onto the back as well just absolutely stunning and beautiful the version on the pattern packet just looks impeccable the sewing looks incredible um, they've sewn it up in like a lovely crepe um, satin back crepe or something and I've taken um inspiration from that and I chose one of our satin back crepes we've got this beautiful fuchsia pink satin back crepe which I think would work brilliantly it's got the high shine satin side and then you've got like a matte side with a subtle sheen on it and you could choose whichever side you prefer to sew that beautiful beautiful gown up in and then the next pattern I want to share whoops, <laughs> um, is Vogue 2009. This is another knockout dress pattern. So it's, if anyone remembers um, Who Framed Roger Rad Rabbit, the red main body of the dress is reminding me of Jessica Rabbit. It's a very fitted, hourglass sort of shaped gown so it's got um beautiful sweetheart neckline the cups of the dress are gathered underneath so it's creating a lot of detail in that area and then it's got thick straps um that come up the that create like a square neckline it's an empire line and then the dress is very fitted um around the waist and hip area and then it's um sort of like a relatively straight looking skirt as it comes down it's probably flared actually it's probably slightly flared it's just the way it's hanging on the model um and then it's got fish darts at the back to create the shape there and create that nice fit around the waist and then it's got these huge dramatic puff sleeves which won't be to everybody's taste um but i think actually the the way they've styled it on the packet the clash 
um, colour combination I think works really really well um, but I did think as well if you weren't into the sleeves you probably could omit the sleeves and just make a beautiful sleeveless um, gown with this one as well this runs up to a size 26 as well which I've been through the sizes for um, and it's designed to be sewn up again in satin back crepes crepes that sort of thing and then a heavier soft satin fabric is suggested for those big dramatic puff sleeves so what I thought was you could recreate the look on the packet with our John Caldor prestige crepe fabric in red which would work perfectly for the main body of the dress and then you could do the colour clash um, dramatic pink sleeve in our duchess satin um, which comes in this gorgeous fuchsia colourway and you can see it's, it's almost spot on on the pattern packet um, and I think yeah that would look absolutely gorgeous so that was my choice for those we do all of these fabrics in a range of colours these plain ones as well so if that's not to your taste do jump on and check them out all the links to the patterns the fabrics and everything are below and then finally one more knockout dress Vogue 2010 Another absolute stunner, so a halter neck design again, but this one has got a backless design. So it's completely um, bare across the shoulders and the upper back. And then the lower back, there's just two straps that come across that have got little bows on them. And then a scoop detail at the top of the skirt. So very, very sexy. Um, love the little bow details. Very high-end couture looking. Um, the it's a halter neck and the armholes are very cut away at the sides which again I think is very sexy um, and then it's got princess seams at the front and the back um, and the skirt's a fishtail skirt for extra drama as well so it really is that special occasion knockout sort of dress you can go for the maxi length which has got a really full sort of fishtail it's I mean it's worthy of a wedding gown it really is you know I could imagine a, a wedding gown made up um, with this pattern but then there's a version which is a bit more sort of wedding guest or formal dinner sort of guest um, which has got a midi length skirt and a length Less dramatic fishtail than the full length one which has almost even got a um, train at the back of it the full length one has so it really is wedding dress worthy um, this runs up to a size 24 as well and can be made up in things like brocades duchess satins mikado silks that sort of thing and the fabric I chose I just thought our classic duchess satin again would work really well and I just spotted this beautiful colour I don't know what the name of it is sky blue um, and I just thought oh my goodness how beautiful is that it's such a gorgeous gorgeous colour and I thought for wedding season that would be absolutely beautiful definitely you could make bridesmaid dresses or wedding dresses with that pattern um, or you could just be the best dressed wedding guest you know so yeah I hope you've enjoyed that little roundup from me and uh, found lots of inspiration like I did as I said at the start of the video everything's linked below if you like what you see please like and subscribe and I'll look forward to seeing you next time